Good evening. I'm Kristen Phillips, Program Manager of UNSW Founders New Wave. I'm coming to you from upstairs of the incredible Michael Crouch Innovation Centre, the heart and soul of UNSW Founders. As I stand here in this amazing space, I'm reminded of the powerful belief held by the late Michael Crouch. Innovation is an attitude of mind. Don't accept the status quo. And how apt this is for the brilliant 81 women who recently participated in the two-week intensive New Wave program, all determined to shake things up, to look at the world's problems through a different lens and find solutions. Tonight, we celebrate the extraordinary achievements of those incredible women, in particular, the top eight teams who were selected after a rigorous pitching competition to battle it out for the cash prizes tonight. It's my pleasure to welcome you to this digital event where you'll meet the finalists, hear their pitches, and see the journey they've been on. Ah, oh, and we'll be announcing the winning teams too. I would like to start by acknowledging the Bejigal people of the Aura Nation, where I currently stand, and all the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet, and pay my respects to the Elders, past, present and emerging. UNSW Founders New Wave was launched two years ago to help address the gender gap in entrepreneurship by launching more women-led startups. We've seen over 150 amazing women participate in the program since then, many of whom have gone on to launch viable businesses. This cohort is no different. I've been blown away by the passion and commitment of these women, jumping into a program which was delivered 100% online to develop some exciting startup ideas. For many, this marked the first time they've embarked into the world of entrepreneurship. Over the two weeks, they've learned essential skills from design thinking and branding to user journeys and pitching. The 22 teams were taught by experts who delivered masterclasses and were guided by 27 incredible industry leading experts. Tonight, we gather to celebrate their hard work and innovation. So here's how it's going to work. The eight final teams will present their three minute pitch. The judges will then deliberate and we will announce the winner of the cash prize of $1,500. You are all invited to be part of the action voting for the People's Choice Award and $1,000 cash prize. The voting will be open a little later on. So for the moment, please take note of the link to the voting form. Before we kick off, I would like to extend my enormous gratitude for the amazing speakers and mentors who have shared their wisdom, experience and time with this cohort of New Wave women. Your generosity, passion and commitment to seeing women founders succeed is relentless. Thank you. Likewise, to our three esteemed judges, Daisy Mann, Fee Chout and Melissa Ran. The judges will be looking for new innovations, ideas with big impact and solid market opportunity. Thank you. So, let's go. young people want financial stability, a <laughs> flat white and an avo smash every day, and an earth for tomorrow. Many individuals use investing to reach their financial goals. But how can we give young people what they want when investing and sustainability don't usually go together? As a third year undergrad, I know the feeling of wanting to build financial stability, but not understanding how. We're so busy with uni, our jobs, our lives, it seems almost impossible to figure out how to both generate passive income and create social impact. I know I don't have enough knowledge or money to enter the stock market, and how do I know my money is going to an ethical company? Sustainable investing has been shown to outperform the market by over 12%, and in recent years, more and more young people have looked to investing with numbers increasing by twofold. This is where INVEST comes in. We want to empower individuals by creating an app where you only need a few dollars to invest, knowing that each company has been handpicked for not only their financial outlook, but also their ethics and sustainability. 
we also go a step beyond investing. We have an inbuilt financial literacy feature to help people at all stages of their investing journey. Sign up, scroll through possible investments, improve your financial knowledge and stay informed of what's happening in the financial world. While our main competitors, Raise and Spaceship, have gained popularity due to their ease and accessibility, we post our unique value proposition as setting ethical, social and corporate governance values as the foundation of invest instead of just being optional. Our serviceable market comprises of Australian university students making up to 925,000 of the total population. We know from our survey of over 175 students from around Australia that 74% of those who do not currently invest would consider micro-investing. And 60% of all respondents are more likely to invest in companies with strong ethical values. Our initial and ongoing costs will include an AFS license, app coding and initial investment portfolio. And we project our revenue to include account fees, grants and competitions. And finally, customer referrals. We are a diverse group of strong-minded women looking to utilize and extend both our technical and soft skills to invest for a better tomorrow. Moving forward, we need you. We are looking to partner with financial service firms and app developers to provide consultancy. Finally, we would like our audience to connect with us on social media. What do young people want? They want financial stability, a sustainable future and flexibility. Invest in Invest. Hi, I'm Bronte Abrams, founder of Scrunch Plastic Pickup, a startup here to make recycling soft plastics accessible. You know soft plastics? also called single-use plastics, but in fact, they're recyclable. The basic rule of thumb is they're the ones you can scrunch up into a ball. Every year, Australia creates about 300,000 tonnes of it, and only 10% of that gets recycled. We all know the damage. It takes a thousand years to degrade in landfill, 77% ends up in the oceans and the turtles. I recycle all my soft plastic, but only when the bag's really overflowing and I remember to take it with me and then manage to make it to a drop-off point. So if I, a single woman with a car and a degree in sustainability finds this process annoying, surely others do too. In a survey of over a hundred people, it was unanimous that everyone cares greatly about recycling plastics. But despite this motivation, over half the respondents either didn't recycle and wanted to or couldn't recycle all of the time. So I created Scrunch Plastic Pickup, membership where households can put their soft plastics out on the curb for collection and have them recycled properly. This pickup model is easily understood, recognizable and accessible. It's the preferred model by 80% of respondents, even those who already use drop-offs. Other pickup services to order do exist, but unlike Scrunch, they're not easily integrated into your household routine. Actually, our biggest competitor is the trash can. Through education, Scrunch helps inspire and teach folks how to sort their plastics and commit to recycling them. Scrunch will be able to benefit the 10 million homes in Australia and eventually the world. So, in August, Scrunch launched a pilot with 10 households. And after only two months, our community of Scrunches has grown to 25, purely by word of mouth alone. These next six months, Scrunch is focusing on the homes in the Randwick and Inner West councils. Because of the strong pilot conversion rates, we expect to have 20,000 scruncher homes by March 2021. Our revenue will come from B2B partnerships as part of their corporate responsibility schemes. Corporate partners will be able to increase their market share from their affiliation with Scrunch. Discussions have already begun with a major retailer, with others expressing interest also. And while the scrunch model requires very little to break even, we need capital to grow and to cover the costs of onboarding at $21.50 per new user. Scrunch is also seeking connections with potential corporate partners. 
I've quit my job in business development to build Scrunch and absorbed all the costs so far. If Scrunch won the new wave prize money, another 116 members could sign up. So please help us reduce to your best and scrunch the rest. Can you imagine being a mum of a small child suffering from a rare disease who has seen dozens of specialists, had multiple tests, but years later still no answer? Rare disease isn't as rare as you think. 475 million people globally are affected by rare disease. Many are children and 50% will remain undiagnosed, some dying before a diagnosis is made. As a clinician, it's your job to investigate why that child is sick. You order a genetic test that shows a mutation that has never been seen before. The problem is the data that could help is scattered across disparate databases and hidden in volumes of literature. It is overwhelming and can take days, if not weeks, to assess a finding. Over the past 10 days, we've surveyed our extensive clinical networks and found 50% are dissatisfied with their current process. More than half have agreed to participate in our pilot. I'm Kerith Ray Diaz, and our solution is RareGenic, a data analytics platform that aggregates, visualizes, and interprets medical research data to enable clinicians to make rapid data-driven decisions for diagnosing patients with rare disease. It saves time, money, and potentially lives. In just 10 days, we've not only developed a prototype of our MVP, we've started user testing. With more than 25,000 genetics professionals across Australia and the US, the healthcare-related genomics market is growing. Our research indicates that leveraging a B2B business model targeting hospitals and universities in New South Wales in the first six months, co-creating product features with their clinicians will get our product to market most quickly. We'll then expand Australia-wide, capturing 40% of the market with our second phase features. At 18 months, we'll begin our expansion to the larger US market to allow for continued growth. Customers will pay an annual subscription fee for our software as a service model, unlocking more complex features through a tiered pricing strategy. We have identified two competitors currently in the market. However, our product development will introduce features that will overtake the competition in 18 months. RareGenic is unique in our focus on rare disease, a secure forum, a literature miner, our artificial intelligence algorithms that learn from past cases to build the capabilities of future geneticists. We are passionate about the intersection of health and technology and bring a wealth of experience in genomics, digital application, business, and cats to the team. For more on us, please visit our website, redgenic.com. Today, we are looking for mentors and coaches to support us on our journey superstar developers to give life to the platform and support in accessing 350,000 in funding. Regenic, transforming the path to diagnosis. What if I told you that Australia's immigrants could save our COVID stricken economy? Well, in the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you exactly how. According to the data, one in four Australian residents are overseas born, and 60% of these are not in a job that uses their skills. This is costing the Australian economy a potential $6 billion revenue. But more importantly, with the current challenges, businesses are missing out on this wealth of skills, new perspectives, and other unique traits for better business. Our mission is to eliminate these challenges and allow businesses to unlock this abundant pool of talent. We do this through Workit, a remote work platform that connects Australian businesses to immigrants and international students. Meet Sophia, a biomedical engineer from China who recently completed her master's in Australia. For businesses like Nova Labs looking for a medical researcher, Sophia has the right skill set and she's great with people. But in the current setting, Sophia's application would most likely be rejected without even an interview. 
The businesses we spoke to said the number one challenge is the complexity around hiring an immigrant. So things like visa status and trial periods. Workit solves this problem by handling the entire contracting and payment process, completely mitigating the risk to the business. Businesses can also choose between one-off projects and ongoing contracts, giving them total flexibility. Workit also ensures quality by vetting every member and allowing businesses to filter their applicants according to their expertise and language proficiency. But how will Nova Labs know if Sophia's skills are relevant to the Australian setting? Well, on Workit, Nova Labs can see all the feedback that Sophia has received through her previous jobs on the platform. And for every payment that Sophia receives, we deduct a small service fee, which is the primary source of our revenue. Sophia can also become a paid premium member and access various training programs. Workit is the only platform that combines diversity and quality and offers a risk-free remote engagement. We have a massive opportunity here. Before COVID-19, a third of the small businesses of Australia were already offering remote work, and this is estimated to have doubled since the pandemic. And by targeting just 1% of these small businesses, we can generate a revenue of at least 13 million. The businesses we interviewed already agree that Workit is an effective solution that they would use and support. And 96% of immigrant survey takers have expressed their interest in our platform. With that assurance, what we need now is technical support to build our minimum viable product and legal services to work out the regulatory details. We believe in Workit because it was founded by women of immigrant backgrounds, including Sophia. Thank you to those first four teams. I'm so inspired. Before we continue to the final four teams, we wanted to share with you a short glimpse of the journey these women have gone on over the last two weeks. Everything about Cohort 6 has been amazing and transformative. We've had 81 women going online. In fact, we've been able to support and help and inspire more women. Whether they're actually based here in Australia, we have women who are based overseas. We also have, you know, second year students as well as mothers, lots of MBA students, bachelor's degree students with a whole range of degrees and academic backgrounds. Um, but they're all coming together to focus on innovations and new ideas. So lucky to have an amazing leader and an innovator in the circular economy, Professor Veena Sahajwala. Get out there and do as many talks as you can in a world that is outside your comfort zone uh, and be prepared to be challenged. When we came to New Wave, we'd sort of created something and then we were like, you know, back solving all the stuff that we should have known about startups before we even did it. What we try to do is use um, a sense of humour um, to empathise with the customer on what it's like to be a woman in year 2020. This week in New Wave, I've loved the rapid prototyping process. Communicate to me your user. What do they look like? What are their hopes, dreams and fears? Decorate the screen with all the things that are important to them. Personally, I've already gained so much from this. Um, that will colour the rest of my life and my career. Like, you know, I can tap out now and be like, woohoo. It's more just that I guess I embrace failure with open arms. Like if it happens, it happens. You kind of can't help it sometimes. We're doing everything we can to make this great. We're working our guts out and we're really passionate. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't mean we failed. It just means something's happened and we have to pivot and work out the next thing. Every time we had a question to ask her, she'd open the question up to the group um, and one of us would have some sort of idea, be unsure, but most of the time, and at the end she even mentioned that we actually had most of the answers ourselves and that it, we had a lot of power as a team. You paired us up with some amazing women that um, 
you know, that I just feel so honored to have had the opportunity to work with. As a mentor, I was able to meet some amazing young women who are wanting to change the world for the better, which was fantastic. Um, and also, it was great for me to impart some of my knowledge, experience and lessons learned. Because I, I really genuinely learned so much from my team members to motivate myself to make an idea that is tangible. Participants have been coming in with ideas that they've just come up with and over the two weeks they've even built things like basic wireframes or landing pages which are helping them to connect with the users that they're trying to access. Got my scrunch pickup. Let's pop some of that scrunchy plastic in. We had something we never had before, which was a health stream of New Wave and health mentors. What I love about being a mentor for the New Wave program is that it's a program for women by women. It's really inspiring to see what the teams achieve in only two weeks. And knowing that you're supporting female founders is really rewarding. We have had a blast. It has been an amazing experience and I am blown away by how much we've actually been able to achieve. Blink and you'll miss it. Two weeks actually goes by very fast. So now, let's see the final four pitches. At the beginning of this year, a true miracle occurred. I, Holly Richards, a plus-size woman, finally learned to love exercise. I'd spent decades thinking exercise was something reserved for when I had the perfect body. But unbeknownst to me, my miracle was about to become my nightmare. After attempting to squeeze into the current sports bras on the market, I very quickly discovered that my size simply does not exist. And it turns out, I'm not the only one with this problem. More than 8 million Australian women fall into the plus size category of size 16 and above. According to a recent survey we conducted with almost 600 plus size women, more than 88% said they struggle to find a sports bra that fits and supports them. So, we've created Club Melon, a truly size inclusive sports bra designed for active plus size women. We are currently designing a unique customizable product available in a wide range of sizes. It features a number of Velcro straps which will allow women to adjust their bra for their best fit. The bras will be sold direct to consumer on an online store. Customers will build their perfect bra using a virtual fitting experience. Women enter their measurements and then build their own bra, choosing neckline, length, band, back style, colours and print to create their product. Club Melon is targeting Australian women aged 15 to 39 who wear a size 16 and above and are currently exercising or looking to start. We estimate this share of the market to be approximately 2 million people. The plus size fashion industry in Australia is currently worth more than $1 billion and it's growing. Add to that the rapid growth of the global body positivity movement. We can see our product and technology being used all over the world. As you can see here, we've identified a significant gap in the current Australian sports bra market. We are also the only brand with a plus size woman at the helm, that's me, proving we have a true understanding of this market. Club Melon's debut customizable design will be sold exclusively B2C through our online store. Women are currently paying between $35 and $120 for a sports bra. Club Melon's bra will be priced at the higher end of this scale because just 1% of women we surveyed said price was a consideration when purchasing. That's how desperate these women are to meet this need. We've been overwhelmed by the positive response to Club Melon in just two weeks of operation. 300 of our survey participants have elected to be part of further product development, forming a solid early adopter base. We also have a number of brand ambassadors lined up with a combined audience reach of more than 50,000. We believe we are the ideal team to bring Club Bell into life. I'm joined by three design experts specialising in advertising, textiles and architecture. And here is what we need from you. Club Melon is seeking experts in the categories listed here to help us build our first prototype and project costs and expenses. For everyone else, follow us on Instagram or visit our website. 
Join Club Melon and help us create the sports bra as unique as you are. Picture yourself in your high school maths class. The teacher is going on and on about something and you just don't understand. Let me guess, did you feel something like this? Confused? Frustrated? The reality is that students across Australia are still feeling this way, evident in our consistently declining STEM results. Our teachers simply don't have the time in the day to give every single student the one-on-one -on -one support they need, leaving many disengaged and behind. Now, guess who else is also frustrated by this growing educational crisis? The Australian government. We have been trying to increase our STEM results for years and we're still failing. The Australian government recognises that STEM is one of the vital pillars to advancing Australia's economy and prosperity. So clearly an intervention is needed. We must empower students so that they're not intimidated by STEM subjects. Hi, I'm Shagin Panra, founder and education enthusiast at Pace and Ace. We are developing an adaptive e-learning platform to empower students in maths, the foundation of the STEM field. Unlike our competitors, Pace and Ace provides handwriting to text conversion, step-by-step -step feedback, customized lessons and exam preparation, and also allows for teachers to track their students' progress. Our platform can be used collaboratively both in the classroom and at home. While the technology to create this already exists, we are repackaging it to meet the needs of our client and customer base. After surveying 50 students from different high schools, 94% of candidates report that they would engage with maths content more if they could get the step-by-step -step feedback and solutions that our platform provides. In addition to this, five teachers were interviewed from different schools and they have already shown feedback in trialing and implementing our platform in their classrooms. In fact, it was echoed at this year's EduTech Summit that the entrance of third-party platforms are the absolute future of our education. Our business is subscription-based, where schools will pay per year per student at a competitive rate of $19 per student. With 1.4 million high school students across Australia and almost 146,000 students across New South Wales, we have already received interest from two schools to conduct pilot studies of our platform, which we will then launch across the state and then nationwide implementation. We envision helping students and parents in disadvantaged and rural areas by offering this as a B2C model after its statewide expansion. So, why is the Pace and Ace team the best team to combat this educational crisis? We are bound by a passion to empower students and parents bringing a range of diverse skills from platform development experience and a strong academic in the background subject. With a mission of simplifying the learning experience, we are looking to expand our team and customer base. So if you have experience in the machine learning space, reach out, we would love to hear from you. And remember, work at your own pace and with our support, it's maths you'll ace. The world is changing. We're becoming greener, more sustainable and community minded. And we're all looking for those small everyday actions which we could change to have a more positive impact on the environment. And a huge part of that is how we source our food. Whilst we care about the amount of resources taken in transporting our food to supermarket shelves, we're all leading busy lives, living in concrete jungles, and after a hard slog at the office, uni, or even both, we grab something that's more, most convenient, which isn't necessarily sustainable. Now, more than ever, we need local options for sourcing food that are both convenient and sustainable. And what could be more convenient than sourcing your tomatoes or lettuce straight from your windowsill or balcony. Our team surveyed 160 people and found that 75% of people aspired to grow their own fruit, veggies or herbs. However, only 28% were currently growing. Planning, time, effort and knowledge were all cited as barriers as to why people weren't growing their own produce. At Sprout, we help busy people living in urban areas across Australia achieve their green thumb aspirations. Customers order a planter box online, which arrives with soil and seedlings to your door. Our app is integrated with the planter box and lets you know when your plants require watering, sunlight, or additional nutrients added to the soil. The app provides 
updates, tips and tricks customised to your plants, as well as access to gardening experts. Eventually, Sprout will allow members to share excess yields with other members in their communities. Whilst there are technical gadgets with digital readout, self-watering or hydroponic grow solutions on the market, as well as others which just provide support and tips, our solution combines the two, ensuring that you have all the tools to start growing, as well as all the support to make sure you stay growing. 51% of Australians are already growing some produce in their homes. However, turnover rates are high, with most only ha having grown for less than five years. Our survey confirmed this, with 47% of our respondents confirming they had grown in the past, but were no longer doing it. Now, we believe there's a real market here with these aspirational gardeners. So, we believe we can target 5% of households in Sydney and Newcastle in the next 18 months to join our Sprout community. This equates to 40,000 customers. Sprout is a subscription service. For $29 a month, customers receive the soil, seedlings, and all the know-how to start gardening via the Sprout app. Every three months, they will receive a fresh batch of seedlings to coincide with seasonal growing cycles. In the next 18 months, we hope to scale our business model to be taken nationally as well as globally. We currently have 15 sign-ups ready to start sprouting this month with our MVP. My name is Sanya Stegic and I'm proud to be joined by a diverse group of aspirational gardeners with skills in science, law, design, global business and operations. And we invite you to join us today. So whether you're a budding green thumb and would like to join our MVP trial group starting this month, or you're an expert horticulturalist or someone that's grown a similar business, we want to hear from you. Thank you for your time. Do you want to reduce your plastic footprint but struggle to find alternatives to everyday products? Hi, my name is Lillian Smith and today I'm introducing to you Formula 5. Unfortunately, we have all seen this site before. Plastic waste continues to rise and current recycling systems are just not cutting it. The team at Formula 5 plan to stop plastic waste at its source, starting with a single product that has become omnipresent in today's world. This year in Australia, 4 million plastic hand sanitizer bottles will head to landfill. On top of this, customers are reporting dry hands from constant hand sanitizer use. The product category for hand sanitizers is also very lacklustre, with little to no high-end hand sanitizer solutions available on the market. 79% of our survey respondents carry personal hand sanitizer when they're out and about. 77% also said that eco-friendly packaging impacts their purchasing decisions. Our MVP includes a glamorous refillable stainless steel bottle that customers can latch onto their bag and take with them on the go. Our sanitizing formula kills germs effectively and contains natural ingredients to moisturize dry hands. Refill bottles will also be available to purchase to top up refillable bottles. And better yet, everything is plastic free. Regardless of COVID-19, the global hand sanitizer market is expected to grow and be worth $2.6 billion by 2025. Domestically, we have 19.6 million potential users of our product. According to our survey, our target market is women aged 30 to 60. Within this age group, we are targeting women who are environmentally conscious, have a disposable income and buy hand sanitizer. Out of these 2.3 million women, we believe we can initially capture 10% of this market. Our initial go-to market strategy will be going to local pop-up stores, local markets, selling online and also through social media. In a saturated market, our goal is to offer uniqueness and entice repeat purchases. Our business model means customers will pay a higher startup cost for the reusable bottle, but will save money in the long run with our refills. The ease in which we can make our product means profit margins are high. In the first year of sales, we project revenue of $11.5 million. There are countless hand sanitizers on the market, but there are none that are formula focused for user experience and utilize 100% plastic free packaging, which is glamorous and sexy. Formula 5 have plans beyond our initial go to market strategy. We have vision ahead for opportunities like selling B2B and product diversification. So far, we have conducted a survey where 94% of respondents said that they would be interested in a solution like Formula 5. Introducing the Formula 5 team. We have a diverse range of skills, but we all share the same passion for sustainability. 
We also have experienced advisors from well-matched industries. Today, we are asking for introductions to steel bottle manufacturers. We would also love to hear from you if you have any insight into the industry, related contacts or mentorship interest. Thank you. So that brings us to the end of the eight pitches. Before we announce the judge's decision, it's now time for your involvement in the People's Choice Award. Here's the link again, which is now live. Vote for your favourite team. Thanks for your votes. We will announce the winner shortly in the chat. So now the moment we've all been waiting for, which team is going to take out the cash prize? First, a word from our judges. I'm so impressed with what I have seen tonight and I'm inspired by all of the teams. Two weeks ago, you came together as individuals. You've built teams. You've learned a whole lot about the entrepreneurship world and you've come up with some really creative ideas, but your journey doesn't stop here. You know, entrepreneurship is a team sport and we are with you all every single step of the way. All right, everyone, congratulations. Uh, you all put in such a phenomenal effort and you really have to be in the arena, playing the game to have a chance at it. So I congratulate you for that. Now what's next? Remember, during COVID, although it's a difficult time, some of the biggest companies were born out of recessions. You have Disney, IBM, Microsoft. So now is a time that you can be starting a company and you can take it places. Entrepreneurship is about solving problems. It's about solving problems that you're passionate about. And that was something we saw, that you're all very passionate about the problems you're working about. So we encourage you to keep working on your problems. We encourage you to connect, to reach out. There are people here to support you. Connect with each other. Stay in touch, keep each other accountable, and let's build a community of female founders as we go into the future. I'm so honored to announce the winner on behalf of the judges today. So the business that the judges ended up choosing is a business that addresses a very clear gap in the market. Its customers are really crying out for this solution. And we really loved the personal connection to the problem that the whole team had, and it's a very strong team. We also really love the brand building and the community building potential of the product. So without further ado, the UNSW Founders New Wave Cohort 6 winner of the Judges Award is Club Melon. Congratulations to Team Club Mellon, and uh, we're all very excited to support you throughout your journey building a business. And a special judge's mention to Regenic and Sprout. And now, check out the chat feed for the announcement of the People's Choice Award. Congratulations to the winner. And that brings us to the close of tonight's event. Thank you again to everyone who has supported this New Wave program. Presenters, mentors, and the UNSW Founders team. And of course, our incredible participants. Yes, there were winners tonight, but you know, you were all winners. Please keep going on your entrepreneurial journey. You are all now part of the UNSW Founders community. So join another program or sign up for individual coaching. We are committed to seeing you succeed.